While the Olympics have come and gone, about 30 top athletes from across the country are still busy waiting and preparing for their upcoming summer games. Several elite track and field athletes from around the country were recently in town training at the Texas School for the Deaf. Since COVID has to happen for the last year and a half and they had to run on the street to get practice and right. you know just until recently when certain things started opening back up and we came back on this track. I thought I was in shape and then <laughs> I'm like oh wait no no no. COVID it impacted my training. It kind of went downhill but I'm doing all I can do and I just want to keep doing my best and keep training and, and do what I need to do every day to keep building all this momentum up. Momentum she and all the these athletes plan to take to the 2021 Summer Deaf Olympics in Brazil, which were postponed until next May due to COVID concerns. I feel I've been training my whole life for this. I've been training since I was younger, and I've been meeting the next level to be part of the Deaf Olympic team here. It's more intense. It's more in-depth. It's serious. There's serious feedback, and I feel like I've improved rapidly. I'm very fortunate to have this team here and these coaches. I thought I was fine where I was. Landed here, completely different. While these workouts, which this group went through for a week here, pushed them, <laughs> preparing for the Deaf Olympics, the second oldest international games behind the Olympics, can be even more challenging at times. A lot of these athletes have jobs, and most of these are college students, and it's really difficult for them to be able to juggle these. <laughs> We have to raise the funds by ourselves through the private sector and a right. lot of the athletes uh, to be, be able to pay for their journey. Okay. We don't have government sponsorship or the USOC, like that organization. We, we don't receive anything from them. And we have to fundraise our money. Wow. And, you know, in comparison to European countries, just like Ukraine and Russia for the Deaf Olympics, whenever they win medals is 100,000 euros for first place. Second place, they get 50,000. Third, they get 15,000. Wow. That, that's their motivation. Right. Us, we, when we get medals, well, we guess what we get? A good old pat on the back. <laughs> Great job. And that's it. Yeah, definitely wishing them all the luck in the world.